I believe that the UN Declaration of Human Rights absolutely needs to be updated to include digital rights, and especially in the sphere of privacy. So the original uh, article in the UN Declaration of Human Rights that deals with privacy, it was great. It got us to today, but it is not well equipped to handle the challenges that the internet, the World Wide Web, and other advanced technologies have when it comes to issues related to privacy. And that's privacy as it concerns government surveillance, privacy as it concerns uh, corporate uh, monetizing of our data, and privacy as it concerns the individual citizens' ability to violate each other's privacy. That there's no need to update to digital rights there are human rights and human rights already include also digital rights what is the difference between normal rights and digital rights uh, I don't see them yet it should be updated to include digital rights we see many affronts to digital rights happening particularly in countries where data access is limited where internet access is limited um, we see the criminalization of internet use, content posted online, when we should be encouraging more people to share their views and opinions online, to participate in civic processes online, but also to generate content that is relevant to them. Um, so we need to see a shift in how um, states perceive the internet, and this um, declaration on digital rights would be one of the ways in which it's perhaps better respected and prioritized. Only when we begin to see more development, especially in the cyberspace, and make more like and you know developments transparent, diverse, we could embrace, you know, truly, fully embrace the concept of development, and that will help improve human rights. I think it should because uh, access to internet um, and access to technologies that's a, b a basic need, you know, of, uh, for the human. Uh, and without technologies, they won't be able to learn, you know, uh, get educated, and uh, access a lot of. Uh, resources that are available online, you know, for uh, the people, for the uh, kids, uh, m women and men to learn. Digital rights, I feel, should be included. I do, however, want to know who would be sitting at that table to make those policies. There is no point if we're having another set of principles, another set of policies that have been produced by people who are not truly impacted. So my answer would be, yes, let's talk about a digital right. My challenge would be, please ensure that we have the correct people at the correct um, level at the table while that policies and that right is being discussed. awareness of governments that they need to have one strategy related to these issues and not seven strategies according to each ministry. So a lot of it begins at the very much at the national level. And then at the international level it's more difficult to find solutions because each of the international organizations has a strong character. UNESCO has a strong identity, but it's totally different from the World Trade Organization, for instance. And there, you have to build bridges between the organizations, but that doesn't happen just overnight. Collaboration, uh, in, in that truest sense of really people coming together um, beyond cooperation, bringing their, their strengths, their talents, their ideas, their innovation, their lessons learned from things that might not have worked, but also in a true collaborative spirit so that that collective of information can go back and people who are, can take that information and they can go back and implement uh, some of the outputs that might come out of the panel or other fora, including, you know, like the IGF. When things go wrong, that people start to realise, no, we really do need to coordinate and cooperate with one another in order to protect our society and protect what we as humans think is important. Um, what I hope the panel can do is take us to a point where we have some frameworks and reference points to identify where things may go wrong before they happen or to identify some basic fundamental principles that are needed for every single type of techn technology or technical engagement.